Hi, I'm Ben Galise, and I want to talk to you about my second album as leader for Positone Records entitled Dare to Be. After my first album, Mindset, with Positone, I talked to the producer, Mark Free, about a concept for the second album. I had been telling him that my live band consisted of vibraphone, guitar, bass, drums as a quartet, and he liked the idea, he thought it was an exciting direction to go in, and suggested to have trumpet for some of the tracks. The musicians that you'll hear on the album are Nate Radley on guitar, Ugano Akego on bass, Jason Tiemann on drums, and our guest is Bruce Harris. All the guys I've worked with extensively, Nate Radley, we've worked together for years, never on a recording project like this. And I was really excited to have him. He's a great soloist, great accompanist, um, really sensitive comper, really listens. Ugano Kegwo, I've worked with for years and years. Um, we did an album with uh, Little Echo, colored Ken Bowser about five or six years ago. And we did a string of gigs together. He's always been one of my favorite guys to go to. And drummer Jason Tiemann makes great contributions to the album as well. He's uh, recently uh, moved to New York a couple years ago from Louisville, Kentucky, and he's been uh, very in demand since he's been in New York City. I can't say enough about Bruce Harris. He's a wonderful trumpet player, very melodic, beautiful sound, and on the tracks that he's on on this album, he makes very strong contributions. A lot of my projects up until this point had horns, piano, very dense, a lot of different colors in those ways, but when you have vibes and guitar and no horns and no piano, you kind of have a more open sound. But my main inspiration for the quartet sound with vibes and guitar, a lot of it came from Gary Burton albums from the late 60s, particularly Duster, which is one of my all-time favorites. And some of the things that he does on the album, I got certain ideas from. To have these guys in the studio was a pleasure because sometimes in live situations um, you lose some of that sensitivity in loud clubs. So to have these guys in a controlled environment in a recording studio uh, to me captured some of the essence of what this instrumentation can really be. I'm very happy with this project. I feel like it's the culmination of hard work as a unit for the past year and I'm very excited for you to get the chance to hear it.